hey guys welcome back in this video we are going to see how to insert data in database using laravel so let's get started so first we'll open the code so this is our web.php our routes file and now we'll see the output so in the previous video we had seen how to make dynamic urls in laravel dynamic urls and pages so here if i click edit we'll get the id along with the data here so we'll see how to insert this data in database using laravel today so let's get started so first we'll just see we'll be creating a blog today so i have already created a database i'll show you the migrations so here it is blog database i had created and i have given two columns here for name and description and then i had created a model for this it is here so blog like in the previous video I had uh, thought how to make a blog how to make this product models and uh, the migrations so now let's get started with inserting of the database so first we'll make a route route get and put first we'll see add add blog we'll name the route as add blog and here instead of using the my controller let us use a blog controller we'll create a new controller here so okay so we'll give the command php artisan make controller and this is our blog controller follow this naming conventions so in future we will not get any error if you follow this naming conventions so okay the controller is created successfully so let us go app http controllers so here is our controller or oh, here block controller okay so i'll remove this and now we have created this we'll give blog controller make sure you spell it right here so here we'll just give index or we are adding the blog right so let us give create here create okay so now just copy this name function name and go to the blog controller so we missed the semicolon here just add the semicolon now we'll create a function here public function paste the function name you copied from there and within this function we have to return the view so we'll give return view and here we have to give a page which where we can enter the blog details so we have to create a page first for this so we'll create a page called create blog create blog okay so copy this rearrange the files and go to resources views and inside this we have to create so give new and paste the file name dot blade dot php okay so save it so it's created now let us use the same thing i'll just extend the main template which we have copy and paste okay so now here we need a form in which we can take the input which will be the blog name and description so for the form design we'll go to getbootstrap.com get bootstrap.com and we'll take the form design from there so go to the documentation and i'm using the 4.5 version here so let me switch to 4.5 and give here forms okay so we'll take this just copy the code and we'll paste it over here oops it didn't get copied so just hit click copy and we'll just paste it over here okay so now let us give form form action equals to and give the method as post because we are posting data over here oops equal to within double quotes give posts and here we'll just change this text we'll give blog name and we'll remove this 
it's not needed for us input type will give text and just to remove all this I'll add a name for this to fetch the data over there so the name will be here we'll give it as name and just copy and paste the same thing here paste so now here it will be block description so description and here we'll give the name of that tag also as description here so paste it okay so now let us check the output once we'll go and so we have to call it we'll just change in the we'll add it in the nav bar so it'll be easy for us to go to that page every time so we'll go here instead of about us let me post blog here and here we'll give blog okay so now we'll go to the create blog and here we'll just give button type equal to submit so here we'll just give the action now within double curly braces give url and within that just give save blog okay so we'll copy it go to the routes web.php and here we'll just copy paste this and copy the name of the url which we had given there paste it here and that will give insert okay this will be a function name in the block controller so we'll go inside the controller give public function and paste the function name insert and for this insert function we are we have to accept some parameters other so we'll give here request request dollar request so now here we'll call our blog first sorry blog model that so will create a variable dollar blogs equals blog model this is our blog model colon oops we have to create an object for this so we'll give new blog okay so we have created a model uh, object for this model blogs so now just copy this and blogs of the field name in your database so we are going to name equals dollar request request of input input of this will be the the name attribute in your tag so here this thing we have to paste it over here in the controller paste it copy and paste so we want the description also so we'll just write description okay so we'll fetch the name and description now we have to save this data so give dollar blogs of save so after saving we want to redirect it to the blog page again so we'll give return redirect to to the blogs we'll just write it here blogs and give semicolon here okay so now let us see if it is inserting so we'll go and here we have not given a blog so we'll just create a new route here copy and paste so this will be our blogs route and here we'll give index function okay so we'll go here we'll let's keep it at the top copy paste index so here we'll give a new page we'll create called blogs okay so let's go and create a new page here in views new file blogs.blade.php and here ok 
okay so we have to extend the main thing okay this is small so we'll take this and paste it in our blog so this page will be for the after inserting we'll just return here and we'll display the blog here that we'll see after the insertion part so we'll write this is blog page so now let us go and insert so first i'll show you the database here so i have a blogs table so name and description we are inserting and status it will be default zero you if you have seen in the model you would have observed that so now let us reload the page okay there's some road blog not defined so we'll go and blogs okay blog redirect this to blog okay so let us reload where is this front end dot blade okay so it is in the front end so let us go and check so here okay, this is route we have to make it url so url go to blog so now let us check the output reload the page and okay let load will go to blog this is the blog page we will give a add blog button over here so let's go to the blog page here close this unwanted files okay so here we will give a float write give btn give add blog so here let's keep it in a a tag and href equals Well, the URL and within single quotes give add blog. So for the design, we'll give BTN primary. So now let us check the output. Okay, so let's just check this. If we have given the same thing, copy and paste it here okay so now we'll go and reload the page okay we got this add blog button so click i got the add blog so let us give blog name right first blog description this is my first blog so now when we submit it should get saved and redirect okay this is post method okay so i think i have given get here okay this has to be okay it was get will make it get this has to be post over here okay so now so now let us see the output okay reload and okay so we'll give again first blog here this is my first blog okay so let us give submit then page expired okay so page expired error we get only in this condition when we have not given the csrf token in the form so you can add it using the at csrf and there is one more method so you can just do it in this way inside the double curly braces you can give cs csrf field okay so this is for the form anywhere you create a form in laravel you have to give the csr field or else it will give the page expired error so go back and now let us reload and type first blog this is my first blog okay so now submit so it got saved and it is redirected so let us check it in the database so here we have got first blog this is my first blog so let us display it in this blog url 
so we'll go here web.php blog index now here you have to store the data in one variable I'll give blogs blog call the model with double colon all we'll fetch all the blog data and put it in this variable now we'll pass this variable to the view you comma compact and in single quotes just paste the variable name so now we'll go to the blogs page and here below this div let us give a for each loop so for each so here we will just put the variable name we copied over blog as dollar item let us keep it the same way and here we'll just fetch it here okay now let's give dollar item now reload the page and you have got this is the blog page okay so now we just need this name and description so we can call it directly here using name and des description reload the page so you got the output first blog this is my first blog so let us design this in a table so i have already designed and copied that code so let me paste it here so we'll just add this in our table just cut it paste here paste okay so now this name we will put it in the title instead of this and the description will paste it below that okay so now let us check the output so we'll go reload the page and okay so this is our title and this is a blog so let us add another blog here to test it if it is working fine so give second blog so hello guys now let us submit so it is submitted and this is our second blog also is fetched here so in this video we have seen how to insert data into database and also retrieve the data and show it in the view page here so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching